Hi and welcome to Whiskey Shared. You're watching my review of Balconus Texas One. I'm Toby and you're watching Whiskey Shared. Welcome to my review of Balconus Texas One. This is an American single malt whiskey and it comes from Balconus in Texas. This particular whiskey is made from Golden Promise Barley and is distilled in Forsyth Copper Pot Stills. It is made from up 100% American malted barley and by making this Balconus led the way to setting the standard for American single malt. This particular whiskey retails for £65 in the UK. It's 53% ABV and is a 70cl bottle. Shall we find out what it tastes like? On to the whiskey. So before I start nosing and tasting, let's have a quick look at the colour. I'd say it's very dark indeed, it's like a henna. This has been aged for at least four years in the Texas climate and it has been aged in predominantly virgin oak barrels. Let's start with the nose. Right, so the first thing I'm getting is like raisins. It's very fruity indeed. I'm getting tropical fruits. I'm getting burnt sugar. I'm getting molasses. I'm getting like baklava. I'm also getting like a port wine. And there's a really nice baked apple note as well. Very interesting indeed. Let's move on to the palette. This is very, very sweet indeed. Very tasty. If you know me, you'll know I like sweet whiskey, so this is right up by street. I'm getting sweet brown sugar, lots of, lots of sweetness. I'm getting tropical fruits. I'm getting like toffee apples as well, that sort of, those sort of candied apples, that sugar as you bite that sort of melted, sort of boiled sugar off an apple. It really, really is tasty indeed. Let's have another sip. This, this is really impressive. I'm getting orange oil. There's um, definitely some citrus in there. I'm getting some charred oak. I'm getting some, I'm getting some sweetness that reminds me of it reminds me of Dr. Pepper. It's, um, yeah, that sort of synthetic, fruity, sugary drink. Really nice. There's a, there's a slight herbal note as well, um, which sort of complements this. And I'm getting the raisins that I picked up on the, on the nose. Let's have one final sip. Yeah, this is interesting because I'm getting like um, I'm getting like a funk, and it reminds me of the diesel oil note that I get on Campbelltown whiskies. I'm also getting cherries, like maraschino cherries. There's a hint of chocolate in there as well, and as it starts to dissipate, I'm getting like a black tea note as well. Really, really interesting. This. In terms of finish, I'd say it's very, I'd say it's very long. There's the sweetness that I was getting from the brown sugar. There's the cola, sort of um, cola note that I often get on bourbons. There's sweetness from honey. I'm getting the wood, so there's oak, and it's lightly tannic. I think that wood is definitely leaving like a, a dryness. It's sucking my cheeks in slightly. And the finish definitely has some black tea. In terms of value, well, this is 
65 pounds in the UK and occasionally it can be found on offer for about 10 pounds less but you know for a four-year-old whiskey that's been aging in Texas it's 100% single malt I think this is quite impressive it has so much more character than I'd expect for a whiskey like this it's got lots of depth lot lots of flavour, lots of sweetness and that sort of funky diesel oil note I think adds to it as well. I think there definitely is some youthfulness in this but I think the fact that it's aged predominantly in virgin oak in such a sort of diverse climate, uh, lots of heat and you know occasionally quite cold, I, th I think this is an interesting whiskey indeed. And I think, I think I'd happily pay £65 for this again and again. There's probably going to be batch variation. There is batch numbers on the bottle, so that definitely helps. And I don't know how big those batches are, but yeah, I'm really impressed. And I think, you know, if, if, if this is where American single malt whiskey can, can go, then maybe I should explore... I should explore some more from the United States. If you've tried this, let me know in the comments as always. I'd love to hear your feedback. And if you've tried another American single malt whiskey you think I should try, let me know in the comments as well. I'd love to hear your thoughts and suggestions. Hopefully you found this interesting and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Sauncher. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not give it a like or a comment? and please consider subscribing for more videos like this.